Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Next month, you're going to be thinking about dermatology uh, quite a little bit. In fact, you're going to be thinking about your skin in general, we hope, because that's the month to do it. And uh, to get ready for that, I thought it was uh, apropos that we have from the new dermatology house. Uh, Dr. Kelly Stankiewicz is here, as well as uh, Alex Hudson, who is a registered nurse from the facility. Welcome, both of you. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for having us. Great to have you here. Yeah, so next month, uh, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, they call this uh, Healthy Skin Month, I think. So did you know that? I didn't know I, that. I, I, well, I hoped you did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're teaching us something here. Yeah. Every well, month is Healthy we, Skin Month for I us. think it should be. <laughs> it, you know, it makes perfect sense uh, here in Park City as we Absolutely. get into colder weather. You start thinking about taking care of it a little bit better because I don't know about people at home, but I start getting all cracky and sore and my hands start to hurt. Uh, that's not uncommon at all. Yeah, absolutely. When the weather gets cold, the humidity goes down even further. Right. We're washing our hands a lot because we don't want to get colds, you know, um, and that takes a toll on our skin. For sure, for sure. Uh, you guys have got to be pretty excited. You're coming up on uh, opening the new facility, uh, the Dermatology House. This is over in uh, the Silver Mountain building out at uh, Kimball Junction, right? It is and uh, you guys have been uh, patiently waiting for everything to get done and it's all gonna wrap up here pretty quick and you guys will be open. Absolutely, yep. Um, they're telling us that we're gonna be done this week and we're planning on an early November opening. That's um, awesome. And we're, we're scheduling for patients starting now. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you anticipate seeing uh, with patients here in Park City? Well, so I don't know if you are aware of it, but Utah has a really abysmal um, statistics for melanoma, mm -hmm. very high incidence of melanoma, right. and Summit County, high even altitude. higher. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the cause there. Yeah, nobody knows for sure, but high altitude, right. outdoor living. Um, so, you know, I hope that we're going to see a lot of people coming in just for general skin checks to make sure they don't have anything worrisome on their skin. Um, we anticipate that we'll see a lot of uh, general dermatology common conditions. I, I love to treat acne. Yeah. Uh, we'll see a lot of eczema, rashes. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to sol solve some complex cases. Yeah. But we're a full service dermatology clinic, so we'll, we'll also be offering cosmetic things. So lasers, um, injectables, oh, chemical wow. peels. That's so awesome. all of your skin needs will be, we'll be able to address. That's excellent. Uh, when we talk about uh, the skin check, the, just the basic making sure that we're healthy, Yes. what does that entail? A skin check is very easy, nothing to be intimidated about. Um, it takes about a half an hour. You come into the clinic and we ask you questions about your general health. Um, just so that we can get a sense of your risk factors. Mm -hmm. um, and then we ask you to take your clothes off and we try to keep you covered. And I know that's the one thing most people are nervous about, you know, having every part of their skin looked at. But we really try to keep um, keep things covered and do it in a very, you know, easy breezy way. Um, yeah, but checking everywhere is pretty important, isn't it? It is, absolutely. From the top of the head in the hair all the way down to the tip of the toes and between the toes. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. If I recall, I mean, we've had, uh, I forget if it was uh, who it was, but uh, some famous people have died with one between their toes that nobody bothered to look at. And yes. Skin cancer and it killed them. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I, th I thought you might <laughs> yeah. mention. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Uh, but that, that can happen. It can. I got to be honest, I'm unashamed. I'm ready to just, you just get in there and just do it because <laughs> it could kill you. I Absolutely. mean, people don't realize this is one of, when, it ta when we talk about cancer, this is one of the most pernicious nasty forms of cancer and it's you know right there life-threatening but visible which is so different than other kinds of cancers where we may not know that we even have it you absolutely hit the nail on the head when melanoma is caught early it's very treatable yeah um, when it's left there to grow it's much more difficult to treat and it's quite deadly well now I guess uh, we should turn our attention to Alex for a minute. What, what made you uh, decide that this was important for you to be part of as well as a nurse? So uh, I've known Kelly for years. Uh, she's one of my uh, sister's best friends and I've lived in Park City uh, for a really long time. So Kelly decided to move her clinic out here and I've always been passionate about all things skin. Um, you know, the largest organ in our bodies. Uh, right. We need to take care of it. Um, and so the minute Kelly said she wanted to come out to Utah, I hopped on board. <clears throat> um, 
And I'm going to offer all of our chemical peels and our laser treatments. Um, and so I am just, you know, right here on board with Kelly trying to get this business started, and we're so excited to <coughs> offer it to the Park City community That's awesome. um, and bring Kelly into our small town. Yeah, I, <laughs> tell us where you're coming from. I, should, I suppose we should ask that. So I'm coming from Chicago. I grew up in the Midwest, and I did my undergrad at University of Michigan in medical school at um, Indiana University, which is where I'm from wow. originally. And then I did my dermatology training, my residency at Dartmouth, and then I did a fellowship at Harvard. And then I went back to Chicago to practice and have been there for the last six or seven years. But we were looking for, you know, lifestyle change and we're outdoors people and yeah. we come here a lot <laughs> so time to just move here it makes sense yes absolutely awesome. yep so maybe a couple of the other things that we we've only got a minute or two and I just want to talk about maybe some of the other things that people don't think about when it comes to their skin uh, or, or dermatology in general what are some of the other things that we should be kind of uh, having in sort of our mind to be getting looked at well, I think that talking about dry, irritated, reactive, itchy skin in the winter is, is something that's very preventable. Um, so just basic skin care regimen would be, you know, if you can shower less frequently, using a gentle cleanser or soap right. and don't put it all over your body because you don't need it all over your body. Just need it where you're dirty, under the arms, in the groin, hands, feet, face. Um, and then when you get out of the shower immediately, you you know, pat dry and immediately you have three minutes to put on a moisturizer head to really? toe and that seals in the moisture and prevents a lot of eczema and you know reactive itchy winter skin and eczema is it pretty it's pretty common right we know I think people don't realize that's actually more common than we probably would want to think it's very common and there are many different subtypes and so it makes the collective term eczema extremely common yeah, uh, and then is it tr how treatable is it long term? Can you get rid of it once you start really having problems with it? It depends on what the origin is. If it's yeah. inherited eczema, it's something that never goes away, and so we we think more about prevention um, than than curing. Wow. So, but it is relatively easy to treat. Okay. Well, that's yeah. certainly one of the things that we want to get looked at for sure. Yeah. Acne with your kids, another yeah. important one, of course. Yeah. Getting ahead of that. Again, mostly getting ahead of these things is the point, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Acne is easier to treat when it's at a milder stage and, um, you know, it's an extremely common condition and easy to treat. The other thing that um, you know I bring to my patients attention quite a bit is sunscreen use. Oh yeah. So Up here, especially super here. important in the winter too. Yep, in the winter too. I never step out of my house without sunscreen on my f exposed skin. And it should be SPF 30. Um, you should reapply when you're outside every hour to 2 hours. Um, you know, higher SPF is better. Mm -hmm. I like sunscreens with zinc oxide. We're gonna have a whole complement of sunscreens in the clinic for people who have every sort of excuse. Like, it burns my eyes. It's too it's thick, too it's too white. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you'll have some It's too them. greasy, we have powders, we have wash on sunscreens, we have tinted sunscreens, we have thin Perfect. sunscreens, so there's no excuse anymore for anyone not to wear sunscreen. Awesome, well we can find all that at the Dermatology House. Thank yes. you guys so very much for being here. Yeah. Website? Uh, Thedermatologyhouse.com. That's simple. Yeah, all it right. is. <laughs> it's simple to take care of your skin and you need to do it too, especially up here at this high altitude, which is a contributing factor often to some very scary things. So make sure you take care of your skin. We'll be back with more right after this.